Couture. I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture and I am here. I don't know what is going on here. <laughs> um, I am back from convention. Yay. I am here on YouTube on Prairie Scraps and in um, Facebook. I don't know why I'm on Instagram. Um, Facebook and Prairie Scraps Chalk and hey Mary good to see you if you're coming on say hey make sure you do all the things subscribe like comment you know sprinkle the love out there because it's so very helpful for me so I'm back from Denver it was a long trip yesterday um, first of all my flight was at 5 a.m. and I so I had to get to the airport by 3 and getting there meant I had to get up at 2.15 to get there. So I've been, I was up all day. Hello, Mary. Thanks for saying hello. Um, and so anyway, long, long trip, but it started way earlier because you guys, like I finally fell asleep around midnight, 12.30. And right after I fell asleep, I think a few minutes after my roommate that I was sharing a bed with decided to FaceTime her family and sat and talked to her husband for a good 45 minutes like right next to me in the bed and I'm like trying to sleep and she knew I had to be up at 2 15 so I was like just a couple of hours of sleep please um and needless to say just as she finally um then our roommate came in our other roommate came in late from playing cards all night and don't ask me I don't know um, so anyway, she came in and then the two of them proceeded to have a discussion with me because they were like, just turn the lights on. It's okay. We're all up. I'm like, I'm actually trying to sleep here. And they were like, well, you shouldn't be sleeping because you have to get up at 2.15 and you might miss your trip, you know, your plane if you don't, if you fall asleep too much. And I'm like, you don't understand. I have to drive home once I get back to the airport. So, and they're like, oh, just take a nap in the airport. So. I arrived very, very tired at 10 a.m. yesterday and um, super tired. Like, I couldn't even imagine driving. I did get a coffee. I and My husband had a list of things I had to go shopping for. So I went to Home Depot for all his needs and actually screwed that up. So <laughs> I don't know. He told me to get two sink things, faucets for my bathroom, and I did. And they don't fit in the holes. So there's pre-cut holes. The last time I went, I tried to get that information from him and he didn't give it to me, but he waited until yesterday and I was having nothing with it. I'm like, how many holes? How do I figure this out? And by the time he messaged me, I was on the other side. Well, after flying two different flights, two and a half hour layover in the middle, eating horribly, not having enough sleep, my leg was so swollen and in so much pain that I did not want to... Um, I wasn't, I wasn't up for it. So what I grabbed is what he got and they're wrong. And so that was a $140 mistake for two faucets. So he's, and he has to figure out how to get it returned. So not my problem. And then he had a list of things like some things from Walmart, some things from the pet store. And I'm like, I had no intentions of doing the shopping. I had no intentions of doing any of this. I'm so tired. I'm on one hour of sleep right now. So anyway, I got all the stuff, went to Walgreens, went to the pet store. By the time I was, and then I decided, well, I'm already here. I'm doing all the shopping. I might as well get my girl's stuff at Joann's because we have not had a chance. We have been so busy around here. I have not gotten their sewing stuff for 4-H yet. And so we have not started sewing our sewing projects, which is, you know, the end of August. And we need to get started because sometimes these things take time. Sometimes you get them done and have to redo them or anyway so that was my trip so I spent a couple of hours in Joanne Fabrics and I was determined to of course check out the um sale aisle before I did so I did find some things if you guys have a Joann's around you I always try to tell you where the deals are Joanne Fabrics has all their spring things uh, 70 percent off right now I was finding any of their red tagged items which were not the spring things I actually found some like make your own fleece um, Christmas blankets and they were 695 and it said it was an additional 25 percent off that so it had two different fabrics for Christmas flannel 
Um, so I don't even know what that is. My thinker is not working yet this morning. Um, but I grabbed two of those because I figured my girls might enjoy making a Christmas blanket for one of their friends. So that was sort of what I picked up. 25% off that. But they're spring items that I went through and tried to find some things that I could either chalk or ink on. Found these cute things. But I kind of, I don't know. You guys tell me. If you go to Joanne Fabrics, would you tell me if you think that their prices are kind of high this year? Like this is a... It's called Place and Time is what was on sale. It's a towel. It's 16 inches by 26 inches. It is a nicer fabric, right? It's a pretty nice fabric. And actually on the back side is like a towel. Um, so it is, and it's plaid. It's blue plaid. I was looking, they had a lot of them like that had things, sayings and stuff. But of course, I want the more plain ones so I can do something with it. Their original price was uh, $12.99, which I figured was $3.90, which still is not Dollar Tree prices. And I was trying to sell towels at my last craft fair for like $8 a piece, and they were I was struggling. So $8 is high, and for, I mean, $8 is lower than what they originally had these. So I, I just kind of think their towels need to be more in a price range, but... I did grab a couple of these. I was a little conservative with it, and I did grab two of these. These were Place and Time Calm and Cool. It's a table runner, and they've got these little, I don't know, both sides. Actually, this one's all out. Oh, yeah. On both sides of the ends, they do have these little dangly things. So, And because it's kind of a plain enough fabric, I thought I could probably do something with this as well. So, anyway, that was... I'll show you some of the other things too that I got. I'm like totally on a tangent today. So this is actually was $19.99. So I figured at 30% that would be $6. $6 for this. I probably could sell this for $35. So this one or $25 or $35, somewhere in there. Um, so this I think is actually a good price. Um, this was their place and time. Uh, I think it was part of their summer lot stuff. That leads into what just came out, and I wanted to come to you today to show you, hey Sue, some of the fun things that we got um, at convention. I know I showed you what they gave me like in my backpack, my handy dandy backpack. I got lots of fun things like a tag from one of my upline. I tell you what, I my love language is presents, so if you want to send me presents or gifts or recognition, those kinds of things, please do, because that's my love language. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, I'm kind of kidding, but not really. But that's also why I do a lot of drawings. So if you haven't gone on the chalk, 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 and then I'll come at con yet. It's still going. I want to do another one. I did. I know. Isn't the bag cute? Bag, bag, bag. I actually bought a couple of extra because they are big enough. They've got a wire frame on them. Um, on the top, kind of like those diaper bags. It's got a laptop pocket. It's got a couple of other pockets. It's even got a little zipper pocket, hidden zipper pocket on this there, a place for your drink. And then of course, lots and lots of buttons I got from different um, upline designers. Um, boy, they are button people. So that was kind of fun. But there is like a carabiner strap on the side. So I think I bought it for, it was $29.99 for the bag, an extra bag. Got one for one of my daughters. I figured they wouldn't mind having Chalk Couture on their school bag going back in the fall. And for $29.99, I didn't think it was too bad. And then a girlfriend of mine that I met, she did not like it. She hated it. And she sold it to me for 20 bucks. So for 50 bucks, I got two of them. So really 25 a piece. Um, yeah, I, I know Sue, like we're bag people, right? We can't help it. We like bags. So we did get that bag. So much fun. And I got a couple of extras. But what I didn't show you is all that we got for free. Free, free, free. Free product. So we went to a make and take. And that was like the two-hour block. And they gave away prizes during the entire thing. So I'm really excited about that. One of the, the main prizes I was really excited about is this little stand. Isn't it cute? It's got little... Um, grommets and you need a screwdriver for that little thing so i'm gonna have to get a screwdriver out here in the camper because i cannot get those things off any other way i try to dye them i try to quarter uh, we were not allowed jackknives on the plane so of course i didn't have a jackknife of any sort but anyway it's a little leather hanging and you could get it off and change it out there's two sides it's five by seven so it makes it very affordable you could just change it out seasonally as much as you want and it actually comes with 
a second white surface. So when we were there, we did make this. This was one of the um, transfers we got. It says autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. And then I did try to do hot mess down here with the oranges. I had papaya and um, orange peel and mix them and they look the same dried. You can hardly tell that there's two different color oranges. So then I went back over it with a little bit of red. I'm not super happy with it. I might actually go back over this again and put the beautiful in um, red or in, you know, a hot mess as well and just put mix the red and orange together and do an ombre right there. I'm beautiful because I kind of missed an opportunity. I saw some of the ladies doing it and it looked really fabulous. So I might still change this up. I'm not super, super happy yet with this whole transfer just because I was trying to do it, you know, at a conference table and not make a mess and I made a huge mess. And then we had to try to clean our, our um, transfers. They wouldn't let us bring water into the, <laughs> into the conference hall, which is kind of funny. So that was, that was super funny. No water, because they had the bins there, but the, the, um, they wouldn't let us bring them in. So that was, oh, and it, I saved one of these, but you know, any of these boards that came with our stuff, I was so upset about throwing away because I used them all, right? I always use them for painting. So that was the one major gift we got to do for the make and take. They gave us tons of stuff to use for the make and take. So that was pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. I was pretty excited about that. Um, we got, let's see, I don't know where to start. So much stuff. Oh, okay. So we got paste. We actually received, I used my orange. We all kind of split it at our table, how many um, paste we had. And um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Ten. We got 10 paste. So that right there is about 15 bucks, right? Because they're a dollar, oh, two and a quarter. So that was like 30 bucks worth of product. All right. So we got this one. This is coral ocean mist. We got meadow. And like I said, I, I use my orange peel papaya. I shouldn't have used my orange peel black velvet. Our most popular one candy apple eucalyptus shimmer gold shimmer copper and forest so that's what we got for all of those orange peel was the only one i was missing and then um oh we got a mini squeegee and 10 of these trays to put our paste in and the two that we used at our table we threw away because they were really full of paste and I that made me sick and they're like you can wash them and keep them and I'm like try not to be upset about that but I was <laughs> they also gave us a board eraser I tried to wash like on the towel there and it was a mess that does not come through and I ended up going into the um the bathroom and met some famous chalk couturers so that was kind of fun Famous designers. <laughs> Famous by meaning I stalk them. I love watching other people do their Facebook and YouTube videos. So when I meet them and I met a lot of people in person that I've been following for a very long time or, you know, watch or whatever. Got to keep my foods up. So, so I didn't start off for home until about two o'clock yesterday afternoon because I did all that shopping for my husband and then I did the girls shopping. I did um, FaceTime. I don't know what we did without FaceTime. I did FaceTime to help them pick out their stuff. So they told me what fabrics, they told me what pattern. They both had an idea what they wanted to do. So we're working on that. That might be my hubby with my coffee because things are, things are hard when you're the day after travel. And I started driving home and started falling asleep behind the wheel because I only had an hour sleep. And so I pulled over halfway and took a nap for about a half an hour. Um, and then continued on. Oh, that one is actually my son. Oh, yeah, no Hobby Lobby there. No Hobby Lobby there. I have to go all the way to Spokane for Hobby Lobby or down to Boise, which is five hours away. So yeah, no Hobby Lobby. I went to Joann's. 
So, and Hobby Lobby, I don't think is a very good place to find sewing stuff. I think Joanne's is a little bit better. Michael's is not good either. I know, right? Boo. Hobby Lobby is not, they're more crafty oriented. So their patterns aren't as good and they're not always as good price. Okay. So back to sewing. So anyway, I pulled over, took a nap and then continued on. My husband offered to come get me, but I was like, I just want to get home. I don't want to wait for anybody. I want to meet anybody. Just get me home. And I was crabby and he tried to talk to me on the way home and I was like having nothing to do with it. So, um, I'm like, I just want to drive. Leave me alone. We got these small patches. They came out with two different sizes of patches. Aren't these the cutest? They are iron on. They come in a pack. This, the large one is the three pack and the small one is also three pack. So the cool thing is, is like if you're a quilter or you're a sewer, you make something fabric-y or even if you buy one, which is what I think I'm gonna do with these table runners. I'm gonna do a little sign iron it on and I'm going to be good to go. It's made of canvas. So it's a nice fabric and it's already got the stitching on it. Can you see that stitching? Isn't that cool? So cool. All you have to do is iron it on. You, it says preheat the iron to medium setting and then remove the backing paper from the patch, place the patch on the fabric, stitching side up, place a cloth or a light towel over the patch and iron it in a slow circular motion, pressing firmly for 30 seconds. Turn fabric over and iron the back another 30 seconds without the cloth and let it cool for one minute. If the edges of the patch can be lifted, repeat steps four through five. So it says, do not use on fabrics with a low melting point that are iron, not iron safe, such as nylon, vinyl, and leather. Do not wash or bleach. So this is not an item that you want, but if you have like a wall quilt or something, you could put like from to you from me or something like that. You could, I, you could use um, ink on it. So they did provide inks for us to do this project, like a jar of ink on the tables, but we were like, how are you gonna get it to dry? Yada, yada, yada. So anyway, that was, that was one of the make and take products we, projects we had, but I was too afraid of all the mess because I really made a mess out of that sign. Wanted to stop while I was ahead because I also wanted it to look really nice. One of the things they did give us to go with it, actually, oh, I don't think this is to go with it. We have the transfer. It came out this last fall. And I remember thinking, we got a glimpse of these patches last fall. And I remember thinking, um, so if you had this on a quilt, you might do a little stitching around the edges to keep it on after you iron it. I can't believe how much fabric at Joann's has gotten. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. So like the two girls, one is making a dress. Bethany is going to make a two-tone dress. And I got the patterns and the fabric and zipper and thread and then some trim because um, Lydia is going to make a jean vest and then we're going to bleach it and ink it because she's going to do two different ex um, embellishments. And actually she'll end up doing three because she's going to do the little, she, I got a little gold braid. And I thought the gold braid would be really expensive, but I think it was the only two forty-five a yard, which seems impossible. But so it only costs, I only had two yards, so it only cost me like five bucks. I know fabric, it wasn't too bad. Actually, our quilt stores are a lot more expensive. And um, the jean fabric, I think was $9 a yard, but for a vest, I think we only, and it was wider. So I think we were only had to buy two yards. But all in all, all of their stuff, plus I did pop on one wool yarn skein, which was six, seven, seven dollars. And the reason I popped that on there is because she's going to do a demonstration tomorrow um, for making the most of me on how to make um, yarn balls. I should have her do a live, huh? So you guys could see how to make your own li um, yarn balls, because even though the yarn costs six dollars, it saves you a ton of money because you don't have to have dryer sheets. Anyway, all of that was a hundred dollars. So I kind of went gulp, like two outfits, 50 bucks a piece. Ah, I was a little upset about that. Okay. Moving on, <laughs> moving on. So we also got these, which are really cute. They're eight, a set of eight, um, of our saw, our suede, chalk suede paper cards. 
And these are a different texture. They're, they have like a soft surface so that when you chalk on them, if you get it while it's still wet, you can usually wipe it off. Um, you're not going to want to wipe the whole thing off, but if you make a little mistake, you can fix it, which is kind of fun. Um, so anyway, kind of excited about this for Christmas. I don't, I don't know. I usually send out like 50 Christmas cards. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys do Christmas cards? Anyway, eight very special people might get a Christmas card. <laughs> That's what it's going to happen. And to go with that, we actually got the transfer to make the Christmas card. So I'm kind of, ex I, I'm actually very excited about that. This is the transfer. It is happy holidays and be merry and bright. And then there's some little sayings on here. I'll read them to you. It says, good tidings and cheer. Feliz Navidad. Tis the season and Merry Christmas. And these will fit also on these. So you can make some Christmas items. You can make some little tags to go on your Christmas stockings. Wouldn't that be cute? Um, that will fit that. I'm not sure. These might. Yeah, they might fit. The bigger ones also do fit. So that's kind of a fun little thing. Christmas cards and we got all of that at conference and then um, this was one that I am super excited have you guys um, oh Sue more than fabric I'm back to this fabric thing more than fabric that has gone up is the price of patterns most of the patterns are $19.99 now I think McCall's patterns were $1.99 at Joann's, so that was a deal. One of them I couldn't get that way. I think they were 20% off or 25% off, but still, at $19.99, you're still paying $15 for a pattern. And, of course, there was only one one jean, jean vest jacket pattern that looked decent. Yeah, patterns, and they're terrible. We get halfway through these patterns, and we can't figure out what's going on. And I've been sewing since I was, like, seven. So, and with patterns, I've been sewing leader for 20 years. I've helped my kids go to state with fair. I've helped, you know, both of my girls for several years now have been the top sewers in our county. And, ha, huh, the patterns drive me crazy because I follow directions. And sometimes when you follow the directions, they leave things out. They'll say, do this to the left side. And then they won't tell you to repeat it with the right side because they're dummies. And it drives me crazy because I figure for $20 a pattern, you should tell me the correct way to make the, the pattern. I need to be a pattern maker. I need to be the editor for patterns. That's what I need to be. I should call contact them. Anyway, so this came out. I'm super excited about the Corneine product. I, we kept kind of hoping that um, they would come out... This is for, have you guys ever done those tiered trays, like the decorative tiered trays? I have tried. I have one. I bought one. I was, I splurged, right? I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this tiered tray thing. And, um, I bought one and every time I make little signs and stuff to go on it, my signs are too big for the tray. And so it looks dorky or they fall over or they don't work or whatever. And mine happens to be on the kitchen table because I just don't have shelf space. It's the only place that makes really sense to do it. So sometimes the kids knock things over, they move it around, they add things, they subtract things. God only knows what goes on with my tiered trays, but they look horrible. I'm not good at it. I don't have an eye for it. But Chalk Couture, wait for it, came out with a tiered tray and it's got a larger, you know, bottom side on it. So it's two trays and they also made all the little cutouts and things to go on it as well as a transfer to make them. So little itty bitty board and bases, little itty bitty um, chalkboards and cutouts and all kinds of things. I'm so excited because I don't have to come up with it. I'm not, I'm pretty stupid with these things. They came up with all the, there's an accessories pack. There's this transfer. There is a tiered tray and it will be coming July 14th. And I'm telling you, they're going to go fast. So if that's something that interests you, please let me know. Um, I can either go on and order it for you or Actually, it's the 15th. July 15th is going to go live. 9 a.m. Our brand new catalog, or not catalog. We're not having a catalog. Our online shopping catalog is going to be live at that time. It's really cool. It's got all kinds of like pushy buttons. You could see projects being made. All kinds of fun, fun stuff. 
Um, but anyway, if you want this tiered tray, please let me know. I'm more than willing to like get in some trays and then ship out packs for people so that you can do it like, like kind of a kit. And I'll, of course, I'll throw in some little extras for you. So please, if you want to pre-order the tray, put tray down below and I will contact you and we will get together on that. I don't know prices yet, but I did hear the tray. I think we heard through the grapevine is only like $29.99. That's the price point. And of course, this is a 15 or, or size B transfer, so it's $14.99. So just to let you know, and then all the little pieces, there's another accessory pack. So let me know if that's something you want. I think you're going to want the tray. I think they're just going to keep on coming out with more seasonal little things. So this is so cute. It's got autumn vibes, pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. It's got a little home. It's got Thanksgiving blessings give thanks. It's got a little pie. It's got, okay. So it's got this little wagon. Do you see the little wagon? You can put, this has got apples in it. It's also got leaves you can put in it and little pumpkins. So cute. So you can switch them out. Um, it says farm, it says fresh pumpkins. So there's a lot of things that, although it's more of a fall one, you probably could use it in all weather sweater weather cozy blankets could you imagine like making a little tiny sweater to put in there and put sweater weather i don't know so many options cozy blankets this makes this inspires me i am like i'm not a decorator but i liked like i like the farmhouse look i kind of i look at a lot of it and i try to be fall candles this says oh so if you're a candle person this needs to be a little tag um Leaves are falling, autumn is calling. So all these little things fit on our little things, but you could use them in lots of places. Like I said, I think they would go on those tags totally well. And I saw one of the girls at my table actually put one of um, one of them on a card. So they would go on the cards too. This was a five by seven A size transfer that came. I tried to put it, I was gonna put it on my board. I think they meant for this to be on that board. And I just could not figure out what colors to do these trees. And the lady next to me said we could share paste and she had orange out. So this one was definitely not an orange, but I do think like green, the dark green, I saw green. I finally researched it. The little stars were, it was so fussy. I was like, I can't do this while talking and having so many extraneous things going on at convention. Um, the little houses, they did in gold, and then these little snowflakes they did in that, what is the blue? Ocean mist. So that is what um, what they used it for. Okay. <sighs> so much excitement, right? And then, um, yes, this is that transfer for that I used. You can see it's kind of stained. This was one we got for leadership only. It says, it's not the mountains we conquer, but ourselves. It's by Sir Edmund Hillary. Isn't that cute? The mountains are really cute. That was for leaders only because we had a leadership meeting. And then that's what we got out from it. And then, um, oh, this was the final night. We got this at our last night of awards and everything. And final announcements, they announced next year's um, Chalk Con is going to be in Florida, Orlando, Florida at Universal. So, woohoo! Um, okay, so I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list by Susan Songtag. I don't know, Sontag? Sontag? Sontag. I don't know who that is. Anyway, it's very cute. It's got a cute balloon. I think that would be super cute. Um, and then finally, this is what I won during the make and take. They would call different groups of people that could win and they just arbitrarily handed us during the make and take some older transfers. So this is an older transfer from 2018. It says better than honey, honey bee farms established 1894. That established 1894 can definitely be used anywhere in the farms, any of this actually. And of course there's a bee and then underneath this tag is a beehive. And then let's see what else. Okay, so this is our new brand brochure. It, it just is a lookbook. It doesn't have any prices or anything. It's not a catalog, so don't be calling me for a catalog. If you've never seen Chalk Couture and this is a brand new thing and you want a brand brochure, let me know. I will send it out as soon as I get some in. So I only have one, um, but I think they're genius. They'll be excellent like when I do shows and, and, and things like that. Um, 
Or if somebody just doesn't know, I can carry them in my purse and have my name and phone and address on it. The other fun thing that they are coming out with, I don't think until September 1st, but some of the things they did launch. Um, so we are still going to have, before Christmas, two more launches. We just saw a few of the things. Um, I did go through and show you the displays of things that I saw at ChalkCon, so go back and watch that live video. This right here is the brand new sample pack. So this is not for those of you who've done it. This is for those of you who are curious. You'll be able to order these on my website and have them sent to you at $4.95 or contact me if you want me to send one. But it has a little squeegee in it. It has this Be Kind transfer. It has a little one of our chalk made tags as well as Storm um, paste in it as well as co nice color directions on how to make it so it's a really nice package we just got one of these but hey you know I've got one free so I could send it out or I could hoard it which might happen um so that was it I did when I was there I did purchase these five packs of special squeegees in green they're army green it kind of looks like Kelly green but it is army green um, so let, that's what I'll be sending out probably for, for our chalk con. I've got some to send out. I will be, so look for those in the mail if you win. Oh, I almost forgot. We got one new paste color that came out this year and it actually does not say, it says chalk con 2022 venture out. It does not say an actual color. Isn't that funny? I don't know what color it is. I think it might be shimmer rust. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but it is a shimmer. It was a free. It's free. Who doesn't take free chalk, right? So those were all the things we got absolutely free um, at ChalkCon, which was well worth it. Um, I have to say so much information. I'm kind of like going, I have just so much information. <laughs> That's it. I have so much information. I don't know what to do about it. Um, way too much information, in fact, in some ways. So that is our, what I did. I told you I was going to try to maybe do one of these, but I'm kind of feeling out of sorts today. Like I said, it's been, been a long weekend. Actually, I should show you which of those transfers. They came out with the transfer to go on these tags, but then something was held up in the tags. I do appreciate that this particular company doesn't just put things out because because they don't put bad things out. They try to make sure all the shipping is in. Everything is ready to go before they actually um, get them out to us. And we had this one transfer. It might be in my farmhouse transfer. Oh, this should go by my jars. Where did my jars go? Okay, right there. I have my jars out from last week. Remember I made that jar with the berry days of summer that's this month's club if you're not in the club you should join lots of fun things coming one of the best things is starting next month when you join the club um there the first month that you join the club you will get a free squeegee we've been asking for that i love it a lot of times i did get quite a bit i don't know how much the whole total was they gave us a i could add it up it was a lot for the create create and take Hey, Brandy, good to see you. Just kind of going through all the stuff I got from um, Chalk Couture. And then lots of lots and lots of prizes from different upline. Every single upline, I got a um, Starbucks card from my... Unfortunately, we had two Starbucks in our hotel, but they were the hotels. And so they wouldn't let us use the Starbucks cards in there. They just used the Starbucks coffee. I think it's kind of... I, I think it's me. <laughs> to have the Starbucks logo because I had all these Starbucks cards saved up and I was like I'm gonna get myself some free coffee while in there because I could pretty survive pretty long if I had my coffee yesterday I didn't get my coffee till I landed in Salt Lake City I was desperate by the time I got there oh this is the one that they made to go with those tags and I have it and I think I I think I, re I sort of remember it when they launched it, but then something happened, I think, with the patches, so they didn't have it. And so now we have it. So that is what goes with these tags. 
but um, so you can see these fit on here exactly. You can, it says sit down and stay a while. This is available right now. You could make this yourself if you wanted to, if you're a sewer, this is a great one to have. You could just take a piece of canvas, put this on with ink, sew it on. It's easy peasy. I'm a sewer, so that wouldn't be hard. But for those of you who aren't, these are iron on. So this is something you could do if you have an iron. This one says sit down and stay a while. A good, the good life. It's so good to be home. And then these little ones say to you from me made with love, which I think is really cute and will look really cute on anything you make yourself. And then, um, just for you. So, um, these are really super cute. This is called the, um, the good life. That's what it's called. It's a B size transfer. So let me know if you want a link for that. I can get that to you. These other things, these patches, they will be coming out, I think, July 15th. All the other products, July 15th. Um, and, of course, most of these, except for any new products, actually, these are all old ones. These Pace packets are all old, and um, so they're available. So, anyway, we'll be making one of these short soon, soon. So stay tuned. I'll be making one of these tags because I've got it in my head that I need to, like, do something, like, on this. The Good Life. Wouldn't that be cute on there? All right. We will see you soon. Keep on crafting. It's so exciting. I definitely have lots of ideas, so I'm going to be on here. One of the things I'm going to be doing is putting together some um, bundles to sell because I have some stuff that needs to clear out before the new stuff comes in. So I'm going to be putting together a live sale come and that one will be special right to this group I won't be doing that on my business page I'm also thinking about doing a live sale of finished products on my other site so with that I am so glad to see everybody I'm glad to be home sleep in my own bed trying to put my life back together here and for sure we will be back soon this week keep on crafting thanks for joining me Jimmy.